Hi, I'm Gage from Team Landroids, team number 4220, and today we are going to learn how to do a stress test. So let's just go to File, New, let's make a part, and let's call it uh, Stress Test EX1. Alright, um, so just go to Extrude, we're just going to make a simple part so that we can try stress testing and seeing where it's going to fail. Um, just make the rectangle 4 inches by 1 inch. And um, make quarter inch holes a quarter inch away from each side. And now make sure they're in the center. Alright, looks good. Just hit the blue check right here. Alright, now let's make it eighth of an inch thick like most standard plastic sizes. Alright, so now we got our piece. So now we're going to want to try to do the actual stress test. So what we're going to do is going to go up to Applications and go to Mechanica. You're going to come up with this process guide right here and um, the first thing it wants you to do is define what material this is made out of and uh, for a standard robot this is going to be um, like aluminum. So let's see, uh, right here, Get more, aluminum and let's make it a uh, 2011 aluminum, hit OK. Alright, now once you've defined it, it should come up with this while it's unselected, little yellow tag. Alright, now it wants to us to put where the constraints are. And so like when you're doing a normal assembly, the constraints are like where you hold this piece. Let's go to here, constraints. And we're going to hold it from this hole. So let's go here to pin constraint. Select this. And right here you can define whether each of these axes are free or fixed and we want them both to be fixed so it can't rotate or slide on this axis hit OK so now you can see we've got our constraint there but say you don't have a hole what you would do is go to here uh, displacement constraint and click a face and it's already set up all as fixed so you just have to hit OK and so now these are the two points where our model is being held by hit close. Now you should notice that these green checks appear. This means that you've done it correctly and you can continue. Now you're going to go to loads um, and we're just going to do a normal standard load right here and we want it to be pushing down so we can see where this piece will fail. Just go one. You know what, I'm just going to make it negative one so it's going in the opposite direction. But as you can see here, you can define where these vectors are going to point um, by changing their X, Y, and Z. So you can do all sorts of different things. This is just pretty simple. Hit close. So now you got your constraint, you got your material defined, and you got your force, your load. So now you're just going to hit run the analysis. As soon as you've got all green checks, everything should come up as these blue dots. That means everything's good, and you can continue on. You can go to results now, view results. Now this window should pop up and you can actually watch and see where the most stress is coming under. So this is where it's going to flex. This is the distribution of force. And this is the um, vectors of where everything would tear. Also, you may have noticed this year that the allowable materials for FTC have changed to now include 3D printed parts. And a stress analysis on a 3D printed part before you make it could be very beneficial so you don't have to waste your time or materials. So if you're going to make a stress test of a 3D printed part um, before you print it out, you just have to go to materials when you're here. And instead of using aluminum, choose polycarbonate. So yours would be like this. What you just want to do is go back to this directory, go to plastic, and Unless you're using a different kind of material, just choose polycarbonate. 
This one. Hit OK. OK. And then you just rerun your analysis. And now you can view your results. It is pretty similar. Um, there are some uh, little differences, and if your part became more intricate than just a simple bar with two holes like this, I'm sure they would make themselves apparent.